Well, it looks as though Ryan's decision to not call an ambulance as Cormac lay dying will have massive repercussions for the Connor clan as grieving dad Ronan seeks revenge, but will Ryan be the next to lose his life? Here, Ryan Prescott teases all the upcoming drama. So pretty dramatic episodes then. What was the filming of them like? Because they seem quite high impact when we were watching them. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they were. You know, the filming them was fantastic. We got to be on location for days and it was as much as I love to work in the studio, it's nice to have a change of scene, change of pace. Yeah. Um, big cast, uh, well, big crew for the for the unit, you know, every time you go there there was there was probably double the amount of people that there usually is um, within the studio. So it was nice that everyone kind of had this feeling like we're all out in the sticks and we're all looking for the same shots for the story and kind of in it together. It was nice. It was a nice sense of newness. And obviously, you know, the scripts are, have got a lot of juice in there and it's a lot more intense storyline wise and, and the stuff that happens and all the stunts to actually be involved in and how it get to do a little bit, you know. It was, yeah, how uh, much of it was um, Stunt Ryan and how much of it was real Ryan? Um, stunt Ryan is Alan. And, yes, okay. uh, and I mention him because he's fantastic at what he does and yeah. he's, uh, he, he had a really, really tough day. Um, but I actually got to do some which I was a little bit shocked at and, and really, really glad. And um, we've got a, a fantastic stunt director called Glenn who kind of, they needed, uh, they wanted different shots uh, uh, around what had happened around the crash. So I got to kind of stand on the bonnet and, oh, okay. and throw my, he built a rig around one of the cars. So mm. it was, it's nice to actually get my hands dirty and get stuff, because I love stuff like that. And, yeah. and uh, I didn't think I'd get to do much, so it was nice to be able to, although it was raining and slippy. So, <laughs> Bit of a well, you know, you think hazard. 12 mile an hour, it's not fast, but when you're on the front of a car yeah. and you've got to throw yourself at the car, <laughs> it's fast enough, yeah. you know? <laughs> So, yeah, but it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And very safe, you know, uh, the whole day, everyone comes up to you so many times and, oh, do you feel okay, you're okay? Mm. So they look after you very well. And what does this mean for your character going forward then now? Because he's in such an emotional state. And, uh, you know, how does this change the dynamic with Michelle and with Ali? Mm, uh, I mean, give us a little bit of a tease. Well, if he wakes up, you know, it's, okay. it's that first, you know, I'm still, I'm still on life support, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, you know, it, if he manages to come around and come out of the coma, um, then, yeah, obviously it changes, it kind of deepens yeah. the dynamic within the family. When, when people go through things together, then, you know, they, they find this, this, this kind of silent, hidden trust there, but at the same time, there's a lot of stuff that's going on with the aftermath, and Ryan reacts differently to different things, you know. Um, I think, again, you know, one of the most re important relationships is that with his mum. So he's going to do everything to try and fix whatever damage he's done there, if he gets the opportunity to. And with Ali, if, you know, if he wakes up, it could go either way with them too, you mm. know. They're always at loggerheads and, and um, but there's, there's more of a three-dimensional ability that's been kind of built within the dynamic of that, that brotherhood there because they're not siblings, mm -hmm. you know, and, and but, but the, they still find those ways to grind each other's gears and at the same time kind of learn a little bit more about each other. Um, so it could go either way with them too, I'm not too sure. And I like the way that they've kind of planted the seed of not only the sibling rival, but also the kind of battle for affection for Michelle, because Ryan's not the biological son, so Definitely. he feels like he's on the back foot a little bit. Definitely, that's, that's been the the, it, yeah. from the start as yeah. well, you know, especially coming in, that was very obvious to me doing my research. It was kind of like the, one of his deepest insecurities is feeling like he doesn't belong, because yeah. at the end of the day, he's not actually attached, blood relation-wise, to the family that he's chosen, that mm. he feels like he's grounded in and that's his home. So if you've got an unstable foundation, you know, that's when you can start making all kinds of choices and not mm. really knowing where to ground yourself in life. So that's why Ryan can be a bit of a live wire. And I think most of his efforts kind of go towards either proving himself to his mom or trying to show her that Ali isn't as, uh, as the man that he, he kind of comes across okay. as. Also, it's quite intimidating for Ryan, you know, he's been, He's been partying his life away for five years. He comes back and Ali's on the scene. He's building a relationship with his mum, who is Ryan's really his only grounding. And, you know, he's a, he's a trainee doctor. He's got his life together. He seems to be much more of an adult than Ryan. And 
that's uh, that's threatening to him, yeah, as far as that's concerned. Who outside of the family could help him, do you think? Maybe in terms of a relationship, Bethany perhaps? I mean, yeah, he's definitely got his sights on Bethany. He's still chipping away. Yeah, he's yeah. still chipping away at that. <laughs> um, and I love working with Lucy. She's fantastic, you know. So there, there, there could be something there, you mm -hmm. know, if... Um, if he wakes up, I'm sure you know his intent would still be, you know, quite strong. For pushed her. in the same direction, yeah. yeah. And I think there's a there's an innocence to her that he kind of, is kind of falls for a little bit. And and there's also a huge strength, um, to Lucy's character Bethany that you know Ryan. This show it has a great appeal to Ryan. As Ryan starting to finally kind of invest in his life, and not only is she a beautiful girl, but at the same time, she's actually someone that. You know, he, he genuinely has a thing for and mm. really appreciates, you know. And so where, how do you see him as a character? And do you think of him as a bad boy or do you just think of him as someone who inadvertently I think gets himself into misunderstood. trouble? misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, he has his heart usually in the right place. And he, his intentions are usually, uh, you know, considering the other people around him, people that he cares about especially. Um, but it just seems to always go the other way for him, you know, and he always just seems to be making the best out of a terrible situation. And he makes poor choices, you know, but he's also in that, uh, in, in that kind of situation where he's under pressure uh, and he creates pressure for himself one way or another. Mm -hmm. And I think that comes from his sense of belonging or lack thereof. Um, so with that kind of manifesting deep down, the stuff he kind of does, it, it does come from a, a good place, you know, he has a good heart, but yeah, I think misunderstood is the word okay. for Ryan in many ways, you know. But don't get me wrong, <laughs> he can be a, you know, he's a div as well, he's a bit of a div, let's say it, you know, he is a bit of a div. Even sometimes it's just like the things he chooses to say. Yeah. But it's great, you know, as an actor, that's when you get the script and you look at it the first time, you're like, that's great. Yeah. You're like, you can really play with that and you can really, you know, you can, it gives you license in to, to go build more of a, a three-dimensional character because no one's just stupid and no one's just annoying. Yeah. Everyone's a little bit of everything to me. So. That's perfect. Thanks ever so much, mate. Anytime. Cheers.